This is Sam from Creative Minds and in this video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step installation guide for the RSS aggregator. And this is for the free version of the plugin. After you install the plugin you can first navigate to the option tab where you can do the initial configuration of the plugin. The most important thing is to copy this short code found at the top of the page and then place it on any page or post on which you would like the RSS aggregator to appear. Then you can save the page or post and after finishing the other configuration, you can view the RSS list on that page or post. The next thing you can do is create categories. So each category is going to contain its own feed. So in this example, I'm opening up the Creative Minds category. You can see that it collects the feeds from the blog posts and it also defines an expiration period, which means that after that date, all of the links will be removed. So altogether, you can aggregate several feeds. So after you create those different categories, those different feeds, when you plug in that shortcode on a page or post, this is what it's going to look like. It's gonna have that RSS aggregator is going to have different feeds pertaining to each category. And altogether, it contains all of the aggregated links. And when you hover over a link, you can see the description, which comes with the aggregation information. So the full description will appear in the tooltip, while the description under the link title can be limited to a certain number of characters in the plugin options. And of course, after you click on a link, you'll navigate away to that link destination. So this is what the free version of the plugin offers. The pro version of the plugin offers a lot more features and functionality. If you're interested to see the difference between the two versions, you can navigate to the RSS aggregator and then upgrade to pro. Then on this page, you can see all of the features that are included in the pro version. This includes the ability to filter the list by keywords. There's also a search function for all of the links that appear in the list, the ability to only display a single category, and much, much more. Thanks for watching.